guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Vachel if you're not new hi welcome back so for today's video as you guys can already tell by the title we're gonna be talking all about building habit and creating a routine if you don't already have one I made my notes here because you know I'm a not girly I have to write it down because I don't want to give you guys false information and I didn't even have to think twice about this because this is something that I do every day we're gonna go ahead and jump on to habit number one habit number one would have to be make my bed if you're that person who never makes their bed start incorporating it in your daily routine just maybe one day a week two days a week you know it's gonna become a habit like the more you do it the more it just like comes to your mind you don't even have to think about it as soon as you get up you're gonna just make your bed without even thinking because you've gotten so used to doing it and so now it doesn't even feel like a chore anymore and also making your bed makes you feel productive I feel very productive when I make my bed in the morning I feel like my room is organized when my room is not organized my brain is not there I cannot function properly I don't know about you guys so like making my bed early in the morning just helps me stay productive I might not be doing a lot of things during the day but just making my bed in the morning makes me feel like damn I really got things done you know like I re I'm really doing this I'm really being productive and it might not be much too but it's something Hydrate your body after long hours of being asleep. Drinking water in the morning has also been proven to like help with your digestive health and your mental health too. So try drinking a glass of water as soon as you wake up. So another habit that I've created for myself is skincare routine. I used to think I have these awesome genetics that I was just blown with clear skin. Like I used to not have acne back home until I got here because I'm exposed to new environments, new water, like this water here is just not good for our skins and so like over time I've created a little skincare routine it doesn't have to be a five-step routine and then another thing that I started incorporating in my skincare routine is sunscreen just because you're black doesn't mean you don't need sunscreen everybody needs sunscreen so if you take care of your skin now it's gonna pay off in 10 years time so do it all you can it doesn't have to be expensive items Hey guys, good morning. I'm done with my skincare routine and I'm sipping on my lemon water. And I'm gonna go ahead and start finding a gym outfit for today. Also, I wanted to come on here and show you guys my braids. I did them last night by myself. Yup, 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 yup. Give me a pause. Yup, look, look at the back. It is so lightweight, it's like long enough for me. You know, it's cute, like, I'm good for another good month. Hopefully a good month, but yeah. They look so good, I'm so proud of the work that I did. Moving on to number four, another habit that I think is really important is daily movement. For me personally, I, I, I believe I'm a very active person. I like going for walks, I like exercising, I like lifting weights, so I consider that my daily movement. I go to the gym like at least three times a week. I'm with a little French toast, you know, because I need something in my stomach before I go and lift those weights. And I don't want to die in there, so I'm going to just eat this for now. I might also grab a banana on the way out. And then when I come back, then I'll make an official breakfast. Okay. <laughs> you better on the first day i should have said what's wrong in the first place i don't cause you always taking it the wrong way you won't listen you're too busy playing 2k i always been down but you still sleep and even though i said it now you should have been pee i feel it in my soul yeah it's so deep so deep you should know that about me yeah. i just turn just turn down your avenue i had to but i'm mad at you Always say I got an attitude, oh Yeah, but that's you, you was acting rude I had to ask you if you had a few Cause you always say I got an attitude, oh Why you talking to me like you be like 
like why you always wanna be right. All right, so the change session is done. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower. Then we'll make breakfast after that. Won't listen, you're too busy playing 2K. I've always been down, but you still sleep. Even though I said it now, you should have been paid. I feel it in my soul, yeah, it's so deep. So deep, you should know that it's it. Another habit that I think is really, really important is having breakfast. If you know me, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I have to eat breakfast every day. I don't know. I don't know. It's just. It's become a thing. It's become a culture in my daily routine. Every time I wake up, I don't I don't care what time I woke up. If it's 11, if it's 1 p.m., I'll make breakfast. I don't care. I love breakfast. I like making waffles, eggs, bacon. Bacon's are my favorite. I love bacon. It's so like, I love making breakfast. And I've made that my daily routine. And it helps so much. It might not seem that much. But when you keep doing it, doing it over and over, it helps you like kind of wake up and it helps you stay productive. So perfect, perfection. Buttermilk, pancakes eggs and we are having some strawberries some cut strawberries on the side so the sixth habit that i've started doing a lot lately is organizing my space i like to think i'm a very organized person you know i sh yeah. i think i'm organized I like having my place clean and like functional I wake up make my bed and I don't like seeing things on the floor like you know when you have to change and go somewhere there's always things on the floor that just I don't know it, it gives me an ache I'm also kind of like minimalistic person I don't have a lot of things in my room which makes it easier for me to organize and like clean up and just have like my little desk things and stuff it's not much in this video I didn't have a lot of things to clean because like I say I don't have much to clean because my place is always so clean and put together and so like the only thing you're gonna see me doing is washing my dishes because that was the only like chore that i had to do on that day okay so moving on to the seventh habit my seventh habit would have to be educate yourself now this is something that i'm still working on personally i am not a reader i'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you guys that i've read 10 books this year because no i'm not gonna say that i don't read much but i'm trying to force myself to start reading and it can be really difficult for me to like get time to read because i'm a full-time student i work so i don't have a lot of time in my hand to just like grab a book and sit down and read like i'm starting to like force myself to do it a little 15 minutes a day is gonna do and none of us are experts at anything. We can all use some learning. We all learn new things every day. Just cause you have your master's degree and your PhD does not mean you're done learning. Does not mean you know everything, you know? That's the beauty of life. We're always learning, we're always growing. I picked up a book the other day. It's all the way back there. That's how you know I don't fucking read, bitch. <laughs> I have a few books here that I kind of started reading and fell off. I'm gonna get back on my Zoom this year. I'm gonna get back on my Zoom and become a reader. See this one, I, I finished this book. This is actually my second time reading it. The first time I read it was back in high school in my junior year, it was an assignment. And so like, it, I was forced to read it cause like we were reading this book in one of my classes and we had to like write an assignment about it. And so like, I read the whole book and then after I finished high school, I was like, I remembered this was a really good book, and so I ordered it from Amazon. So this is one of my first read. Well, not like in my entire life, but like this is the first book that I've read entirely, okay? It's a really good book. If you want something to read, I recommend getting your hands on this one. It's about like police brutality and racism in America. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, Here's a read, you know? I am Malala. I feel like everybody knows this book. It's a really popular book. It's about this girl who uh, fights for education, for women's education. Another book that I'm currently loving, 
this is the one that I'm reading right now. This is The Atomic Habit by James Clare. James Clare. If you're someone who struggles with building habits and creating a routine, get your, get your hands on these. Get your hand on this. You're gonna love it. I love this book. Like the moment I started reading it, I was like, damn. Oh my goodness. Like this sounds so good. I'm becoming a reader. Like I'm even highlighting stuff. That's how... Hey. <laughs> Let me not do it too much, but like here is a quote that I wanted to share with you guys. He gave a definition of a habit. So a habit is a routine or behavior that is performed regularly and in most cases automatically. And this can be as little as making your bed, as little as tying your shoes. The more you do it, the more it's gonna like become so easy and seem less like a chore another thing that i liked on here was uh changes that seem small and unimportant at first will compound into remarkable results if you're willing to stick with them for years let, let that sink in let that sink in now you're probably like hey, rachel making my bed is not gonna change my life tidying up my room is not gonna change my life it might not be a big deal right now but trust me if you keep doing it and doing it you're gonna see a change in your life. You're gonna see a change in your mood. You're gonna see a change in your mental stability. You're gonna see a change in your productivity. You feel me? So these little things are gonna change your life a lot. They might not seem a lot like now, but like the more you do it, the more you see the results. We all deal with setbacks, but in the long run, the quality of our lives often depends on the quality of our habits. With the same habits, you end up with the same results. Read that. Oh my goodness, this book is so good. So if you want to sit in your bed all day and complain about not having money, complain about life suck, or this life is so boring, of course it's gonna suck. You're in your bed every day. Then you're not waking up until 1 p.m. Of course life is gonna suck for you. But like, if you get up every day, go to the gym, make up your bed, and go out and do something, life won't suck. You know, life is actually really beautiful. It's up to you to make it. I'm telling you this book, it's like I'm reading the Bible. I will preach the word of this book until I die. Okay, so moving on to my eighth habit. My eighth habit, <clears throat> eat out less, y'all. Eat out less. Get your phone get on youtube search up a recipe and start cooking your meals i used to eat out almost every day and it was not even healthy food it was fast food but now i only go out on like special occasions that's when i order food oh let's say i'm off from work after a long 12 hour shift i don't feel like cooking then that's a reason for me to like you know get some but like on the days that I'm just home and I feel like I can spare 30 minutes to an hour, then I'll make myself something to eat. Okay guys, I am cooking and was like, I was just talking about this. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little clip. And this is not just today. I do cook like almost every day. Today's menu, I am making rice and I also have tilapia going on an air fryer. This is what we're working with. And I let that cook. Here is what we have going on up here. So I'm planning to eat that with avocados. I've been craving I've been craving uh, salmon with rice and avocado. I think the combo is just so good and it always tastes good. So that's what's on the menu today. Pretty simple easy don't gonna be a chef to make a home cooked meal okay get your little some some get your little brochure cut it up you know just pull things together it's all about putting things together it's art you know just put your shit together and cook and it's gonna be good and if it's not good the first time do it again the second time analyze what you did good and what you did bad and work on that and it's gonna be good you know Like ever since I started doing that more, I don't I don't find outside food like tasteful. 
I don't know if it's just me, but like it feels so good eating your own meal, eating the food that you, you know all the ingredients, you know the recipes, you know everything that's in that food. Eating your own food gives you a peace of mind, you know what's in your food, you know, you know what you're consuming, you know what you're putting in your body, you know all the recipes and stuff, and you're also saving money. So my ninth habit is take time off. hustling and hustling we all need time off reflect on what's going on reflect on how you're doing good reflect on what you need to work on to improve yourself because we all need some improving nobody is better nobody is perfect we can all improve in some way so like sit down connect with yourself meditate journal I'm talking about having a self-care day my 10th habit is have a reset reset day so my reset day is usually on sundays on sundays i don't work i don't go to the gym i do my laundry on that day i cook if i have time on that day then i'll like meal prep for the rest of the week and just organize stuff you know like also plan out your week i'm a big planner like i love planning start organizing your life anyways that is all oh, enough with me rambling you're probably like girl you're talking too much i'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm just so passionate about this, you know? I'm really passionate. So, that is all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me rumbling and giving you guys little advice. If you find this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And follow my socials, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, and comment down below what you thought about this video what are your thoughts about this video are you gonna start doing these habits if not that's fine thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one bye i liked you better on the first day i should have said what's wrong in the first place i don't cause you always taking it